Hi guys. It's just another blah gray. What is it? 48 degree. Saturday afternoon here in the end times. <coughs> Heading back to Bugs in a Jar Farm. Wondering what the hell this planet eating here is over to the side of us. So I'm uh, coming back from my hot date. My hot date with my this Doomer chick that I actually met a Doomer chick on uh, <laughs> on pile of fish. Uh, we cannot. She and I honestly cannot remember whether she saw my ad or I saw hers. So anyway, you know, it was a fine time. Uh, you know, she wasn't a bad looking woman. I mean, you, you know, she's my age. So uh, be that what it may. But, uh, you know, probably a 21 BMI, long blonde hair. Uh, and uh, she likes to go to bluegrass and folk festivals. Uh, loves camping, is probably going to make a trip to Florida this year. Uh, you know, lives in an old farmhouse on some acreage uh, out in a little small town. Uh, in the Finger Lakes of New York. Uh, so we, uh, oh, oh yeah, anti-masker. Now she is vaccinated, but she isn't, she had to do that, uh, well had to, she was a nurse. And so uh, she got vaccinated and then right after she got vaccinated, she said, fuck this, I'm retiring. So, uh, but anyway, she got the vax, but she's an anti-masker, and so she, uh, obviously we were talking about uh, doomers, and so she kind of, uh, you know, she didn't really identify herself. I mean, she doesn't call herself a doomer chick or anything like that, and uh, so she's kind of, uh, you know, feeling me out about what the hell it means to be a doomer, and I, you know, I didn't want to scare her off because I know she's a breeder. Uh, I don't know how many kids she has. I do know she has mentioned a daughter and a granddaughter. So I know the woman's a breeder, so obviously I needed to uh, skate around that subject so uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of figuring out how do I uh, politely define a doomer to this, to this woman who genuinely was interested in the subject. Uh, she had heard the term before, but I guess she'd never met a real doomer before. And so I kind of explained it. And, uh, and so I'm like, so, you, you know, what do you think? And she said, what I think is, she goes, I just think there are too many people on this planet messing things up. <laughs> that, that, was, that was her re response uh, after my very measured, careful response to this breeder, uh, you, you know, not to, uh, you know, to skate around overpopulation. But that's what she thinks. She just thinks there's too many people on this planet messing things up. And uh, <laughs> I said, well, darling, it sounds to me like you just might be a doomer chick. And uh, anyway, so it was very, you know, it was a pleasant lunch that we had. She's mostly a vegetarian, uh, not totally. Uh, there, was, there was no mention of space aliens. Uh, anywhere, uh, never brought up in three and a half hours. The subject of space aliens uh, never came up. She did not ask me if I had been abducted by space aliens for 22 years of my life. I decided to leave that out of the 
conversation. Uh, so, you know, three and a half hours we spent together, and I probably will uh, see her again. She says she's going to come visit me in Florida. Uh, but you know, uh, we, we live as it is, we live two hours apart. And uh, she lives, y yeah, so we, we can kind of meet in the middle at Watkins Glen. It's, uh, it's like right in the middle between us. So, uh, you know, there, there's that little issue. And, uh, but, but guys, it's just like, you know, Cupid's arrow was nobody there. Here, you know, I mean, for a uh, 60 plus year old woman, you know, she, she was certainly in shape, uh, active, attractive. She wasn't a clueless moron, anti masker, uh, educated. We have the same musical taste. Uh, but there, there, there was no. There's, there's got to be that fucking, whatever it was between me and, you know, it's. Uh, this cupid was nowhere on the. Uh, it was nowhere on the scene. Uh, so we, we finish our our great date. And, and she just jumps in her car. I, I mean, uh, certainly, I mean, uh, uh, obviously, no kiss goodbye, no hug, no handshake. Uh, she just, she hops in her car, uh, just, just kind of suddenly jumps in her car, uh, says, you know, I'm going to try to get into Ithaca next week. If I come into Ithaca, let's get together maybe I'll see you in Florida, and drove off. And uh, <laughs> there you go, that was that. So who knows, but uh, it, I, does it give me hope or not that there is a Doomer Chick um, pile of fish? Uh, she says pile of fish has been pretty much a dud. Uh, she says the guys that she's met, you know, she goes, I've met a few nice guys, but, uh, she goes, when I really started, uh, you know, checking them out, that they were all city boys, and, uh, she needs her a farmer, she needs her a country boy, I was wearing, uh, my overalls. Where I had my, uh, we had our big date. All right, I have no idea whether Highway 96 goes straight or makes a right. See, no sign uh, that 96 uh, just made that right turn. Uh, anyway, so I don't think that uh, my new Doomer Chick Forever is going to be jumping in the seat next to me to. Uh, head to the Point Lonesome Swamp for the next six months, but, uh, oh well, hope of springs eternal, I mean, I just don't know, you, you know, where, where the fuck do we get the energy to do this shit, you know, really, where, where the fuck does the energy, uh, come from to do this, I have to decide whether I'm going to even put my ad up down in Inverness, Florida this year, down in the Trump Tard capital of Florida. Oh, Lord. Love. <laughs> love, love, love. Why does it have to be so fucking difficult? Uh, I have no idea what town I am in. Oh well, another Saturday night with my little dog begins. Could be frost on the pumpkin tomorrow. We shall see. 
Bye, guys.